Bro, niggas can watch fucking a Care Bear movie, bro. And if that nigga's just not right in the head, he's still gonna wanna go out and shoot some niggas. Like, Come on, hold up, hold up. Nigga, oh, man, they don't understand it, man. They don't understand what I'm Lies. talking about. This shit that I'm feeling, all this shit that I'm talking If you keep talking reckless, we gon' fuck around and make a motherfucking. <laughs> Dante has a mouth. Matter of moments, I went for the chrome. Now your body lay soulless. Thank God as he hold it, give praise to the most high. Hope I'm accepting my energy won't die. Joker movie is encouraging violence. Is encouraging mass shootings. Have y'all seen these articles? We're gonna get into one article because I really want to talk about it. But uh, there's not gonna be any spoilers because, you know, some people don't see the movie first weekend, but I will talk about, you know, things that I liked and why this movie is more important than people are saying it is or more important than people think it is. It's so stupid to me how these reports are saying this movie is glorifying these, these people and it's gonna encourage more people to go out and start sh shooting, shooting people. As if you bought, when you bought a Joker ticket, you went to the theater and was like, um, oh, um, I'll get a one for, I'll get one for a Joker. Yeah, seven o'clock, thank you. And then the person at the register is like, okay, one for Joker. Uh, here's your ticket. And here's your brand new AR. And then like, I get the AR and I'm like, yo, thanks. <laughs> And I'm just out here like, I, I now want to kill people because I, I'm about to go see the Joker. Like, I don't know what people or what these news articles and media took away from the movie, but I took something completely different away. What I took away is that, bro, we really need to treat each other better, treat other people better. Just because they're different or may, or may have a condition that doesn't fit the norm of, you know, today's society, I don't think we should, you know, just be antagonizing them or you know joking them or recording everything and making fun of people and things like that but there's an article here that I talked about on Twitter but I definitely want to talk about it on the video because I really 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 like this movie I didn't go into this movie expecting it to be some action crazy movie with the Batman flying around in the background and uh, you know big explosions and things like that I know what it was from the trailers uh, from the trailers that I've seen what type of what type of movie this was gonna be so and plus it's Joaquin Phoenix I don't even know if people have seen his other roles, but you know the guy The guy be only you know, he, he he's, a, he's a good ass actor. bro. He's a good ass actor, but let's jump into this uh, Let's jump into this article. I really really want to talk about this so Listen to this stupid ass headline Joker hits movie theaters with with controversy and extra security. Listen, it says the Joker movie hits, uh, the Joker movie hits, what the fuck? The Joker hits movie theaters this week despite a wave of criticism that it glorifies a killer and can encourage copycat attacks nationwide. First things first, have people never heard of like the Joker? And like, do they really not know what the Joker is known for? And why is this a surprise? And then I seen another, there was another post and I don't know if they're gonna mention it in this article, but parents were like telling, like the news was telling parents that watch, that still watch the news, don't bring your child to the Joker because this isn't like those other superhero movies. The Joker isn't even a superhero, so I'm confused on where people thought that was the case. Second, it's rated R. <laughs> It's rated R. Why are you bringing your child in that movie in the first place? This is why, like, bro, today, today, the humans of today are just so stupid. And it's, it's, un, it's intolerable, bro. It's very intolerable. The movie featuring Joaquin Phoenix is about a marginalized clown that goes on a killing rampage. I mean, it's more. It's more than that, but I guess that's the over, if that's what you took away from it. Uh, the story is told in a manner that seeks to evoke empathy without rooting for him, says CNN's Brian Lowry. It takes place in 1981 and tells the backstory of Arthur Fleck, which is crazy because this movie was like so good that even if it didn't have, to me, even if it didn't have anything to do, do with the Joker, it was still a good movie, like within itself. Like if they, if it was just like, 
uh, Arthur, what's his name? What's his last name? I, I don't even remember where I was. But if it was just called Arthur, like, the movie would still be good on its own. But I think because it has, you know, Joker in it. Maybe that's why it's not as controversial. I mean, it's, it's very controversial virtual right now, but I think it would be even more controversial if this was just like a character about, you know, this Arthur character and like, it had nothing to do with the Joker or DC or anything like that. But I think because, you know, it is the Joker, it gets some, it's not even getting as much criticism as it really could be getting. Even before its release, Warner Brothers faced protests from families of mass shooting victims who fear it would lead to violence or copycat attacks. Bro, look, shout out to, you know, shout out to the families, you know, who lost people from mass shootings and, and things like that. But that, if for you to think a movie is just gonna, you know, is the reason why mass shootings happen or shootings happen, period, it's, it's dumb as hell. It's like somebody watching freaking movies where niggas break into cars or something like that. And then like, it, it's encouraging car breakings. Like that's, it, it, Bro, there's just some people in the world who's just stupid and do dumb things, bro. Like, you can't say a movie a movie is gonna allow that to happen. When you watch a movie, like, unless you already have a gun, it's not like you watch the movie and then like, oh, I wanna I wanna shoot somebody up just like he did in the movie. And then the movie like comes with a, a care package of a gun or something like that. You have to go and purchase the gun, you have to go and do these things and things like that. And then it doesn't just it, bro, it's just so stupid, bro. There's no way, there's no easy way to explain it because people are just stupid. People are just so stupid. The fact that people are blaming the Joker, a fictional character, and trying to say, this is gonna encourage mass shootings. The same with video games, saying that it encourages violence and things like that. It's just very stupid. Heightened concerns about the movie's premiere grew because of the 2012 mass shooting at the Aro Colorado movie theater on the opening night of The Dark Knight Rises. And that was before, wasn't that before the movie was even out? That was opening night. Nigga probably didn't even see the movie yet. So what does that really say? What does that really say? Um, another Batman movie, the attack left 12 people dead and dozens wounded at a midnight showing. Stepped up security nationwide in a joint blah, 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 warned law enforcement. Some moviegoers are unbothered. The people who are just living their life, right? If you constantly live your life in fear, especially because a movie comes out that, you know, revolves around real life things, just because this movie, did, even if this movie didn't come out, that doesn't, that doesn't mean like, oh, thank God, this movie's not coming out. We saved mass shootings. No, mass shootings are like, that shit's still gonna happen unless we work, we figure out these gun laws. <laughs> I'm not even gonna get into it because I know that's a touchy, touchy subject, but unless we figure out these gun laws, like that's, this shit's still gonna happen. All I'm saying, okay, real quick, I know I said I wasn't gonna talk about gun laws or anything like that. Like, I understand handguns, okay, you need to defend your home. Why, why do niggas need ARs? Why are you, why do you need to walk around with an AR? That's all I'm asking, but you know, I'm pretty sure someone's got a, an answer and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna disagree because it's a fucking AR. Uh, but anyway, there's a difference between getting a weapon to defend and then just getting a weapon just so you can kill a, a whole bunch of people. That's, that's all I'm saying. Matthew Clark attended opening night Thursday, me too. Thursday night I was in there, bro. And said he was not concerned about the security warnings. Bro, I don't, I mean, it was, it was stupid regardless, okay? It, like, whatever, bro, I, like, bro. I was seeing this movie, bro, I was seeing the movie. Um, when I first heard about the mass shooting controversy, controversy, it didn't really bother me. To me, it was just another stupid thing that was going on. <laughs> he told CNN's Jason, whatever your last name is, I remember at least a decade ago, uh, the same thing happened when The Dark Knight came out. It didn't really bother me and nothing's gonna stop me from seeing the, seeing the Joker. This dude's not playing, bro. He's seeing the movie no matter what, bruh. He's like, bro, I'm seeing this movie. Like, it, it don't matter. Them niggas gonna have to kill me because I'm seeing this shit. Uh, Clark defended the movie saying, it's not glorifying killers because it's fictional. It's just a movie about a character that's going through a transformation. To me, it feels like, I don't know how to put it into words. It's just not a big deal, he said. That's what I'm saying, like, it's hard to explain because it's a, it's a Joker character and it touches on some real things that I think is the reason like why people are getting all triggered because they don't really want to talk about it, which is mental illness and how that is a serious thing. And some people aren't really taking it serious as in, you know, the treatments and things like that. Like obviously in the movie, you see, you see what's going on. Like I said, I'm not gonna spoil it, but you see the things that is going on when he's trying to speak about his feelings and this, that, and the third, and you know, thing. It's not really being as taken serious as it should be. 
Uh, and it's showing like, yo, maybe we should take these matters a little bit more serious instead of just brushing it under the rug and being like, you're good, bro. It's okay. Just smile. If things are going bad, just smile. Okay? Like, there's more to it than, you know, to, than that. Movie Star speaks out. Uh, Phoenix defended the movie amidst the controversy. His portrayal of the character is meant to provoke, he said. I think it's really good when movies make us uncomfortable or challenge us to make us think differently, he added. Which is true. I think it's good. Bro, I'm all about watching a movie and just having a good senseless time, seeing explosions. Bro, have y'all seen Rambo? Okay? I haven't, I haven't, I haven't seen Rambo. Like, the newest one that came out. But apparently this nigga's murdering people left and right, bro. He was catching more bodies than the Joker wasn't than the Joker was in his movie. I'm pretty sure there was controversy about that, but like it's like, bro, these movies are gonna come out either way. Like niggas are gonna kill people either way. Like this shit is gonna be in movies. It happens. Rambo literally, y'all. I seen Terminator. <laughs> Remember when I was telling y'all I seen Terminator for the first time, bro? And I always thought Arnold Schwarzenegger was like the good guy. I seen the Terminator, the first one. And this nigga, he literally did a mass shooting on a police station. I was like, yo, he, he's not injuring these cops. He is killing them. He is murdering these police officers. And I'm like, yo, this came out back then. This came out back then. So it's like, bro, it's not gonna stop. We, and low key, high key, people wanna see these types of movies. They like these movies that are kind of, you know, kind of edgy, kind of, you know, on the edge of like, yo, like, like that make you feel uncomfortable. It, it's the Joker. It's supposed to make you feel uncomfortable. Like, that's why, I, that's what I really liked about it. There were scenes in the movie where I was like, I was like, yo, you gotta relax, bro. Like, you gotta relax. It's literally points in the movie where I'm like, please don't do it, bro. Please don't do it. I literally went into the movie like, I couldn't wait for him to, you know, start killing people and, you know, become the Joker. But as he was starting to become the Joker, I was like, bro, can you, bro, just tone it, tone it back, bro. Dial it down, bro. I think the dude is sorry, bro. I think the dude would have been sorry had you asked for an apology. And, uh, you know, that, that's that's what I really liked about the music, uh, the movie, because it's like, it's the Joker and everybody likes the Joker, but at the same time, you're uncomfortable. You're very uncomfortable with his character and how he's starting to develop into, you know, the Joker. Um, it's like, at first you feeling sorry for him and you sympathize for him, then you're like, ugh. You're like, I, am, I, am I really, I don't know if I, you on your own with that, bro. Like, I get you going through some things, but this what he doing? This is what you're doing just because of this person did that? Like, I know it's a big thing, but like, this is your plan. This is your plan. <laughs> uh, it's just a crazy movie, man. If you haven't seen it, I really suggest you uh, you check it out. In a statement, Warner Media says the movie does not aim to hold this character up as a hero. At the end of the day, it's the Joker, bro. And the movie was fire and the Joker character is awesome. I'm gonna be the one to say it if, if anybody feels like they shouldn't be saying that the Joker character is awesome. I like the Joker character and I understood, you know, why he did what he did, you know. And I, I, I don't agree. I ain't gonna say I agree with what he did, but I understand why he did the things that he did. Um, and it goes back to, you know, mental mental illness. Like, as much as I hate when that, that word is brought up when all these mass shootings happen in real life, and it's like, I'm like, as soon as you hear about a mass shooting, like, you know, like the, the meme to go to is like, let me guess, he was white and he had a mental illness. But it's like, that shit is really serious and it should probably looked into. I feel like some of these people are probably just using that as an excuse so they can get like, you know, so they don't get as a uh, harsher punishment. But there's really people who have these conditions who are really suffering from mental illness who should really be sat down and talking to and actually taken care of with actual care and, you know, given the things that they needed to, you know, ease their mind or whatever it is, it is that needs to be done. What the hell is this? This is the girl from Save the Last Dance. She was a legendary actress. Today she works nine to five. What? Wait, what? What happened to her? God, I don't know. I clicked it, bro. Wait, is she really working a nine to five now, bro? Y'all remember her in Save the Last Dance, bro? <laughs> Do y'all remember that movie? I don't even know what movie she was in. They said legendary actress. I just remember her one movie. But maybe she was really like that. But anyway, if y'all have seen Joker, man, let me know what y'all opinion is on the movie. I thought it was an amazing movie. All right, I loved it for what it was. I knew what it, what it was gonna be. And to see him evolve from the opening scene to the last scene, the opening scene, you know, when you see him on those stairs, 
to the last, to the almost, you know, leading up to when he's the Joker and he's on those stairs. And it's just like, bro, the whole transformation, I'm looking at it like, bro, when he was on these stairs earlier in this movie, bro, you were not like this. You were not how you are right now, bro. Which is crazy, like, which is what I really liked about the movie. It was like a, bro, it's just an adventure through the Joker's mind and how he became the Joker. And that laugh. I like what they did with the laugh. Um, you know, there's an actual video of somebody like who like who can't stop laughing. Like it's a reaction. It's a thing. Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments below. If y'all did enjoy my reaction and my commentary, well, it's not really a reaction, but if you did enjoy my re, re, uh, my review and my commentary, hit that thumbs up. Let me know what y'all think down in the comments below. I want to know what y'all think about a lot of these topics. What do you think about you know the mental illness? What do you think about, do you think this movie is really going to encourage, is going to encourage shootings, mass shootings, or is that shit just going to happen regardless, bro? Y'all stay, y'all stay, uh, stay safe, alright? Love y'all. Posted in Gotham, they see me as Joker, the Joker the week as they listen on sofa, or blasting the whip as the popo drive by, white guys hanging on tight to the right side, pistol whip out the bullet, spit out, then hit the black child, the nigga gone out. R.I.P. my dude, niggas done died so much that I just became numb, huh? Everybody just make memes, laughing at rape and the shooting of teens, pull out your phone, it don't matter the scene, uh. Jeff, you can't melt still beams. You pop the pills and you sit the lean and you take a shot. Do a line for the team of niggas. OD, yeah, that shit is a sign.